The hastily assembled and disjointed group of Russian troops responding to the Ukrainian operation in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation consists of units whose numbers are below the doctrinally defined ones. Also, the Russian brigades are ill-prepared to create the unified command and control structures necessary to coordinate the response. This is stated in a report by the Institute for the Study of War, ISW. Analysts noted that Russian propagandists themselves predict that the Russian army is weak in defending itself on its own territory. Ukrainian military observer Konstantin Mashovets reported that the Russian army forces have so far redeployed approximately 10 to 11 battalions from across the Ukrainian front to Kursk. But he suggested that these units are not up to their intended final strength, which is likely to further disorganize the Russian response to the operation. According to him, the aggressor transferred a reinforced motorized rifle battalion of the 138th Motorized Rifle Brigade and up to three battalions from the 128th Motorized Rifle Brigade and 72nd Motorized Rifle Division to defend the Kursk border area. These two formations from the Northern Group of Forces operated in the north of the Kharkov region. In addition, one motorized rifle battalion of the 272nd Regiment was transferred to Kursk from the Kupiansk direction. Up to two airborne battalions of the 217th Airborne Regiment from the Kursk region, units of an unspecified echelon of the 104th Airborne Division from the Kherson region, one battalion possibly from the 810th Marine Brigade of the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Federation from the Kherson direction, which most likely belongs to the one 155th Marine Brigade of the Black Sea Fleet, which operated in the north of the Kharkov region. Additional battalions of the occupiers from the 38th and 64th Motorized Rifle Brigades also went to defend Kursk, probably from the Zaporizhia direction. They estimate that Russia's redeployment of battalions and lower-level units, rather than full brigades and regiments to defend the Kursk region, contributes to the difficulties of Russian forces in quickly establishing effective command in the area. So, Russia has a large amount of losses. Russian women from Kursk Hospital confirm this. One of them says, They are transporting the wounded in droves, the killed in droves. All the cars and cam as trucks are filled with corpses and the wounded without limbs. It's just awful. Experts say that the more the war is taken to Russia, the more Russian civilians will learn everything they have been told over the last 10 years is a lie like the real number of Russian casualties. Ukraine's army chief, Oleksandr Sersky, said Kiev controls about 1,000 square kilometers of Kursk, according to a video excerpt of his report shared by President Volodymyr Zelensky on Telegram. It was also the first time Zelensky confirmed that Ukrainian military forces are operating inside Kursk. In his nightly address the president said war was now coming back to Russia after Moscow had taken fighting to other countries. The troops are fulfilling their tasks. Fighting continues actually along the entire front line. The situation is under our control, Sersky said. Russian President Vladimir Putin said the incursion, which has caused more than 100,000 civilians to flee, 
is an attempt by Kyiv to stop Moscow's offensive in eastern Ukraine's Donbass region and gain leverage in possible future peace talks. The Ukrainian operation is under tight secrecy, and its goals remain unclear. The stunning maneuver that caught the Kremlin's forces off guard counters Russia's unrelenting effort in recent months to punch through Ukrainian defenses at selected points along the front line in eastern Ukraine. Speaking at a meeting with top security and defense officials, Putin said the attack that began August 6 appeared to reflect Kiev's attempt to achieve a better negotiating position in possible future talks to end the war. He insisted Moscow's army would prevail. Putin said Ukraine may have hoped the attack would cause public unrest in Russia, but that it has failed to do so, and he claimed the number of volunteers to join the Russian military has increased because of the assault. He said Russian forces will carry on with their offensive in eastern Ukraine regardless.